Hey everybody! So, my second laid back design package has arrived. So, I'm quite pleased. I thought that it was going to take ages, like the first one, but um, yeah, it hasn't taken as long. I'm going to get right into it. Um, nothing really new here, I guess, um, or nothing sort of amazingly exciting, I guess, compared to the last one. Uh, it's just that I liked the Quantum Collider so much, not long after I ordered the first package. Um, I was a little bit kind of torn on the colours when I initially ordered, um, because I ordered the green. I mean, it was a no-brainer for me to get green. And I've, I've measured it up now, it's on this glow paracord. But um, I really liked one of the other colours and I was like really torn, but I went with the green. <clears throat> to match the uh, the backbone that I bought, but and I'm a sucker for green. But after a little while, I thought, well, hang on, you know, is this going to get all bashed up? You know, is the is the anodization or whatever it's called, is that going to get worn away with lots of use? Because you know they hit each other. That's kind of the point. But I thought it was kind of an excuse to go out and buy the, the other set that I really liked because <laughs> I thought I could use the other one as a more of a beta set I guess um, especially when I'm learning um, how to use these properly I'll still use these a lot and I have been um, but yeah I just wanted one that I could um, it didn't really matter if it got you know colours got chipped away so much I know that sounds so silly for Big Larry um, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I can't get this out. Okay, so. I basically got the Quantum Collider Singularity. So that is the, like, the 3D printed version. I think these are biodegradable as well. Um, which is interesting. So here we go, here's the the other set of Quantum Colliders, and uh, while I was at it, um, I decided to get a Glow Ponder. So let's open that first, because I'm going to put it on the windowsill. So there we go, it's uh, orange, meant to be, well it's kind of pink, um, orange and yellow Glow see a mould line there kind of feel it but it's not it's not terrible so yeah much like the other one um, I prefer the, the other one that I bought um, because I, I like green and, and purple's nice as well um, but I just wanted a glow one I wanted to see how well these glow um, as I love glow stuff Ooh. So, I'm going to put, just pop this on the windowsill. There we go, and hopefully I won't forget that. <clears throat> so let's have a look at these. So I also bought these just for fun. These were really cheap. I think about $13 or something like that. And they're also that kind of, I think, that original kind of ball shape, like cup and ball. And you can choose your colours or you can go with like a blind bag set, which is kind of nice. This is very thin cord. So as you get with any kind of 3D printing, obviously you've got, you know, lines and stuff like that. But I didn't mind about that because I just, I just thought it was a neat idea. I wanted to try it with the ball. Um yeah I will have to string them up properly size them properly off camera because I have to say it took me ages to do these and give these a go because they're so light um, I'm not expecting them to be amazing um, you know they're just gonna be too lightweight but yeah I just thought why not $13 um, and I kind of like the fact they've given me a white cord because I think that goes best with these colours. Red might look nice as well, but 
I don't have quarters to them as this, I don't think. So again, we got instructions on how to size them up, which I already had with the previous. And a sticker. Yeah. So, that's those. Uh, let's get into these more interesting. So we've got more instructions again. I kind of like the fact these are all printed on different, different colour paper. So the other one was printed on, for these it was printed a different colour. This also gives instructions on like some tricks, basically. So uh, to do some stalls and rolls. So it's not just sizing it up, it's to getting you started. So, sticker again. Once again, this lovely um, 3D printed box. This has actually been finished nicer, this one, than this one. <laughs> it's really nice and smooth on the top and the bottom. This one's just the top smooth. This one's got a bit of a texture still. Um, so it's just green and pink this time. I just love the way they've made these boxes. They're fantastic. So... We've got some different colour paracord there. So I can't remember what the colourways are called, I'm afraid. But I love their colour choices. They're really funky. So yes, this is the other one I bought. And that is stunning. Bit of a shame we haven't got more of the purple on the outside. It's mainly blue. That is a bit of a shame. We've only got a little bit of a splash of purple on the inside. Hmm. That is a shame. Um, but, you know, they're still very pretty. So, yeah, I basically bought these because they've still got some bare titanium showing through. I was I was torn between just getting the, the, the plain titanium, so the raw tie I think they called it, or getting these. And I thought, you know what, these are so pretty and so funky. Um, if some of the colour gets bashed away it doesn't really matter because we've already got some bare tie on there. So it will just kind of add to that effect I guess. Um, I really don't know how it works, you know, whether the colour is really going to get scratched chipped I, I i don't i don't know but it was just something i had in mind um i really like these they are a really great idea and i have found that you know it's actually more difficult <laughs> to get that you know to get them landing in there usually like at the moment i'm just trying to trying to do basic catches i'm not going to do it sort of here because yeah, i've got my phone above tv screen over there i don't want to break anything i haven't really got the room here um i wonder if i could do it no um so <laughs> it's actually quite difficult um especially as i don't play kendama um but it's very satisfying when it lands and one thing i have noticed about this design um i mean correct me if i'm wrong i've you know, I'm quite new to lathe back design, but I think their initial design was just a, a cup and ball like these kind of thing. Um, I think uh, they had the honey pots. I think that they released a while ago um, that were sort of closer to this design. I think, um, but it's actually very clever how they've done it. So this is the third iteration, I guess. I think this is the V3 or whatever. So the fact that this is ridged is really great because sometimes this lands just like this or like that. It just helps that kind of land on or in the cup. So sometimes it will land like, you know, like that. <laughs> but it, it's, it is on there. Um, I mean, you could call that cheating, but, you know, sometimes it will land like that. Um... I actually really like that, that whether that was intentional, I don't know, you know, sometimes it can land like that. Um, you know, I'm really not good at this. I really shouldn't do this. There we go. Um, 
I've just got to be really careful because my TV. Um, yeah, it's it's a really neat design. I just, you know, I think it's very user friendly. I guess that was that would be the way I'd describe it. Um, and also, it just looks cool. I like it. And when they're together like that, it's just really cool. Very elegant. Which I think is what I said before. So what I need to do is obviously string these up. I did have some difficulty stringing them up. They took a while. Um, because... If I can pull that through. No, I'll have to do it on these. So I decided I was going to put it on this kind of greenish uh, glow paracord. But the way it goes in, you have to um, melt the ends so that they're kind of like a blob. So that they don't pull through. So far, that's actually been quite good. It hasn't come through. I thought I could reinforce them with glue uh, if worse came to worse. Um, but I haven't had to do that. Not actually stick them in there, mind you. I would have just put a coating of glue around them just to make them a bit, you know, the blobs a bit bigger. But I haven't had to do that. Um, but this did take quite a few tries. And also I'm very particular about the length. So I think the first time I did it, I ended up not burning it in such a way that it came out as a blob. And then I burnt it too far and it it became just slightly too short. And I'm really OCD about that. So um, I had to do it again. Uh, so yeah, this might take me a while. But these are... These are beautiful. No close up. Shame about the purple all being on the inside where you can't see it. I was hoping to get some splashes of blue and purple on the outside but that doesn't seem to be the case here. Which is a shame. Yeah, I've got a little bit on the inside there. Because um, I kind of liked the the mix of colours on this um, but anyway you know I, I'm pleased I really like these quantum colliders um, I've just been sitting on the sofa you know watching things um, just you know trying to get this you know just the basic stall I guess which is like that once I've got that I'm going to move on to doing the the more uh, vertical Stool so that it lands like that. What you do is, I know what you do from the tutorials that I've seen, is that you kind of move your finger like that. It forces the cord upwards. Um, in fact, you can see it happening. There we go. But you, obviously, that happens as it's coming round. Um, yeah, so there we go. Let's have a look at that ponder. So, oh no, it's not going to show. It's too light here, to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah, I really love this company. Um, just the attention to detail and love that they seem to put into their work um, is amazing. I'm really, really impressed. Um, you know, it, this must have taken a lot of research and development for these. I don't know whether they're going to change the design again. Um, you know, that could be interesting. But at the moment, I think these are really great. Um, I don't know if they could improve. Um, I need to improve, I know that. Um, it's a very, you know, it is a steep learning curve, I think. So, getting that to land in that is harder than I thought. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I can imagine it's even more difficult with the sort of straight, plain cup and ball. I don't know. Um, you know, this is too long, I need to size this. But, yeah. Um, these are fantastic. 
I'm going to go away and I'm going to size these. So have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.